You don't need to watch this whole video. All you need to do is take your pop filter, put it in front of your microphone, and speak as you normally would. Use those words that it's meant for, you know, like pop, 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 pop. And if you don't hear a difference, throw this thing out. Hi, we're going to talk about these pop filters. So you have someone and they're speaking into your podcast or your video or whatever. You have the mic and you don't want to hear this, right? Like heavy breathing, right? So you might want to get rid of that. And I think that would be easy to say, don't breathe heavily into the microphone. So you've solved that problem. But then sometimes they use certain words and they'll breathe too much into the microphone. You don't really want it. So they might say pickled pepper or pop filter, right? Because the pus sound makes a bunch of air. And you can see this if you go pa 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 with your hand in front of your mouth. Pa 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 makes that sound. Now, so you don't want, you want the pus sound, but you don't want all the air going into the microphone. Now, one very simple solution, instead of going pa pa pa, is just to move a little bit over like that and go pa pa pa, <laughs> move the microphone like that and go pa pa pa, and then the microphone doesn't get the air. But we don't want simple solutions. We want to spend some money, right? <laughs> and we want to add some, you know, cool gear to our whatever. Okay, well, back to the uh, problem. So we can't really stop a person from using the, the letter P, right? They want to say pickled peppers, we want to let them. So what we do is we give them this little pop screen, and that's what the pop screen does. So now when they go pickled peppers, the screen will block their, their noise. So pickled peppers, pickled peppers, pickled peppers, pickled peppers. Now, I don't know whether that's doing anything or not. We'll have to listen to the tape. <laughs> but the uh, what I find interesting on the Internet is yes, if you're singing very loud or you're doing anything where a lot of air is coming from your mouth and you want to get close to the microphone to get the highest nuance and fidelity, you know, if you're singing like this, obviously a pop filter is very useful. So that's why it's used. It's used generally by singers in a studio in front of a microphone like that. It's really the only reason it should be used. And many of the videos you see on the internet saying that you should use them I don't want to use unkind words. Okay, so close your eyes. I'm going to now. Let's just pretend in a real situation, right? Now we're I'm five inches away. I'm going to use the pop filters. Pop filter. 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 Do you hear any difference? No, you're not going to hear any difference. As soon as you're re within like five inches of the, of the pop filter, you're not going to hear anything. And if you don't believe me, take your hand and just do pa pa pa. Puh, puh. How many inches away does your hand need to be before you don't even feel the air anymore? Well, if your hand, hand doesn't feel any air anymore, the membrane of your microphone is not going to feel any air anymore. And I want to point out, microphones already have pop filters built into them. What do you think this is? This, you know, uh, the, uh, the metal and the, um, the foam underneath this metal. It's a pop filter. So all microphones generally have pop filters already built into them. You don't really need any more, again, unless you're singing at very high volume, right up close to the mic. What really put me over the edge to do this video is um, a couple of years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I was watching a channel called Blanco Lirio, which I love. I love Juan Brown. It's a great channel. It's in the, in the description. And I noticed that he was using a pop filter. Um, and here he is in a somewhat recent video of this pop filter. So um, I wrote him an email and I said, um, you know, you should probably, you know, not use the pop filter. I said, love your channel. A pop screen is to remove plosive sounds. You know, the other stuff I just talked about. Um, and so then he wrote, you know, thanks, Max. I'll try without it. And um, uh, so in this clip, you can see he's not using one and he's using a dynamic mic and he's probably keeping good mic distance. So everything is working out fine. But then um, I saw him again with a pop filter a, a couple weeks ago and I went crazy because 
<laughs> because we, I saw in the video, he said, oh, a bunch of people are complaining, so I'm going to use the pop filter again. So you put the pop filter again. And I'm like, wait, Juan, if a bunch of people come from your plane, you're flying the plane and they say, hey, it's too bumpy and rough, lower the flaps or put down the wheels. Are you going to do it because a bunch of people in the cabin say to do it? Are you going to put a pop filter because a bunch of people in the comment section, section should, you know, say to do it? Did you do what I said to test whether it actually does anything if you thought about it? Now, I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to rank on Juan because I love Juan. <laughs> like his business is not like audio or video or anything. Like he's a pilot and he covers, you know, stuff like that. And he's, you know, he doesn't want to deal with this stuff. And I just, I'm just like so like annoyed because I know that he's inundated with people giving advice based on marketing BS. And I'm surrounded by it too. And it's just like drives me freaking nuts. So that's emotionally why I'm doing this video because I want to talk about that. Not just about pop filters specifically. Where is this pop filter? But all the kinds of like pop filter. Oh, I should go on full screen. Um, all the kinds of pop filters, you know, technologies or gadgets or gimmicks that we got to deal with. You're drinking bleach or whatever. Like our society is so goddamn screwed up. And when you see your hero, your hero, Juan Brown, falling for the pop filter for like uh for the for the uh snake oil it's just so depressing and upsetting so i'm sorry juan so anyway so i thought okay you know a bunch of people complain he's like fine i'll put the pop filter back as uh you can see it there and i thought well listen you know i can write him an email and say no you shouldn't use it like i said real tech, i can bring it up again but I think I need to go, I want to go deeper to explain what the problem is, what the problem he's having, why people are commenting. So although they're commenting to put back the pop filter, they're addressing the wrong problem. So I want to explain what the real problem is they're addressing. So he understands, they understand, you understand what the real issue is. And to do that, we need to go to some hard, simple physics. Sound works based on the inverse square law. Now, when you're one inch from the mic, right, and the sound is X or whatever, right? Let's just say that you've set the gain now and I'm talking in a regular fashion. And uh, I want to, um, and they say you're too loud and I want to cut it down by half and I'm one inch and I move to two inches, right? Does that cut it down by half? No, it cuts it down by to one quarter. And that's what this chart is showing. And if I go from what R is one inch, if I go to three inches, I'm down to one ninth of the intensity. That's why a pop filter doesn't really do anything when you're five inches because you're really, what's five squares, like, um, no, one over 25, right? So if you're at one inch and you go to five inches, right? So it's five times five squares. That's 25, you're one over 25 of, of intensity. And what the, so the problem that Juan is having is because he's using a dynamic mic, he sets the, um, uh, let's say the gain on his computer to work at, let's just say one inch. So as soon as he like turns, goes away like this, it's really dim. Or let's just say that he sets the, the gain at you know five inches like this. He sets it on the computer. He starts his like video. And he's talking, and the gain is set at 100 percent, right? So it's and now he goes to one inch. It's actually 25 times more louder one inch away. So of course now everybody's like, whoa, you know, Juan, it's like it, you know it's too abrupt, like it's too loud. Put the pop filter on, but it's not loud because of popping. It's loud because He's using a dynamic mic, and um, when he moves like close and far, the level is going higher and lower in a big way. It's not helped that Juan has a very deep voice. So that's the problem. So to, to, uh, to fix that problem, uh, what he would need to do if he can continue to use a, um, a dynamic mic, after you can see one of the photos that he does do it this way, is always to talk within a couple inches. And if you look at any professionally made podcast or anybody who knows what they're doing and they're using a dynamic mic, they're always within three inches of it. And like I said, this already has a built-in 
uh, pop filter in a sense. Same thing with the SM70B that the mic you see in all the podcasts, Joel Rogan, everybody has, you know, big like rounds, you know, whatever. Maybe I'll put a graphic here. Anyway, you talk like this. If you, if you just stay three inches, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be great. But Juan isn't doing those type of videos. Juan is like, sometimes he's talking to you directly to the camera. Other times he's going to the computer and he's like showing you something from, you know, the NTSB or, you know, or whatever, you know, in these websites that he goes to. So when he goes from here to here to here, you can't get set a level that's not going to be too far of the extreme in one way or the other. So what is the solution for Juan or anybody that doesn't, that has this thing where they're, they want to actually move around a, a fair bit. The first solution is you could use just a condenser mic. And so a condenser mic has power goes through it, so it's very sensitive. So basically the way I think of this is this is not sensitive, but super accurate. This is very sensitive, but almost like too accurate. It picks up room noise, you know, whatever. But remember the, the, the inverse square law. If we're going from one inch right, to five inches, that's one to 25, right? But if we're going from, let's just say it's this, if we're going from like five inches to six inches, it's actually a very little difference. That's why I can actually move around like this and it's not really sounding much different. Even if I'm going like six feet or five feet or whatever, it's basically the same because the mic is farther away from you. And those incremental differences based on the inverse square are much smaller. So that's one solution. Now, one problem, like I said about the uh, condenser mics is they pick up too much noise so you may not want all the room noise so they make another kind of a condenser mic which i'm sure you've seen before it's a boom mic or a zoom mic or whatever so the boom mic is directional it only picks up from this way so juan would take this and he would put it on a uh on a stand out of the way and uh, let me see if i can just move the camera towards here see so he, he put the boom the condenser boom mic on an arm point it towards his mouth, and then he can move to the screen. He can talk like this, and it's going to sound the same. Because basically, again, when he moves from 28 inches to 26 inches to 30 inches, the difference is so small, it's not a big deal. It's not the same when you're moving from 1 inch to 3 inches or from level intensity from 1 to 1 over 9, right? So that's the solution. And... Uh, Pop filters don't do anything about that. Okay, I'm just going to finish up with some uh, random stuff, uh, which will hopefully be useful. If you're still watching, it means you're probably still interested. One of the issues, um, if you actually do test of this stuff, is the inverse square law is this um, uh, red line here. But actually, if you did the measurements, it would be like this, because the walls um, create not a single point source, which is how the inverse law would work but like a big big source so this chart is showing how like in, in reality generally when you're really close to a wall it doesn't go back inversely because the wall is producing so much noise in fact room noise is the biggest problem i say for most amateur or most people doing this type of stuff um, many videos i see i just just watched one the other just a little bit that was uh sort of like ruined a little bit by room noise. But as you get farther away from the wall, then the, um, the measurements will match uh, the inverse uh, square law. Now here's a guy that he's doing a pop filter video and he's speaking very close to a condenser mic. I, I just would never do that. I mean, I don't, I don't think many people would. I mean, like I said, a condenser mic um, is really, he's using something similar to this, is useful when you're keeping it sort of far away. If you're going to, speak as closely to him, you're going to use a dynamic mic. In my opinion, I would use it. I wouldn't use a condenser like that unless I was speaking really low. It's just, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> just my opinion. Uh, so let's, let's move on. Same thing here. Um, he's doing using a pop filter test, talking very close to a condenser microphone. I don't know why you'd use a condenser microphone uh, in that way. So Again, many of the people that do these pop filter videos, they're using the equipment in a way you would not use it naturally, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> uh, now, this is what I wanted to show you. So these are two Electro Lux, whatever, 2020s, I forget what names, but they are condenser microphones, right? So they're doing what I say you wouldn't really want to do. You won't want to take a, uh, a condenser microphone and put it very close to you. 
the difference is that these condenser microphones are made for you to speak sort of close to them. Um, but because they're condensers, they're very accurate. And if you listen to these, uh, this podcast, I forgot the name of it as Family Fun, whatever. I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, it's really good. So they went out, they bought mics, and they uh, speak into their mics in a way that they like to hear themselves heard. And that's the other thing. You really need to try out mics to find out what you like, what's, what works good for you. You know, the problem that Juan really had is that uh, he didn't go out. He doesn't, he, I don't think he knows actually the difference between the simple difference between a condenser and a dynamic. Well, I bet he does now. <laughs> so but anyway, he did go out and shop and try some different mics and see what he likes. But these people, they know what they're doing. They got these mics. They like how they sound. They could have got these, but they like those. And they know not to do a put pu into those mics. If they're going to do something like pickled peppers, they would move over off axis on the mic because they know how the mic works. So again, I'm not saying you have to use one kind of mic or this or that. I'm just saying understand how they, they work and then you adjust your speaking style or whatever you're doing for the mic it had. Um, here's what I was talking about. So these are, I don't think these are SM57Bs, but they're close to it. But here you can see there are no pop filters. And these are just like athlete guys, right? And they're talking close to them, right? So they get the mic close to them and they're good and it's gonna sound great. Dynamic microphones. But look at this guy. Now this is, these guys don't know what they're doing in my opinion, because I don't know whether those look like dynamics, but they might be condensers, but still they're too far away. So, you know, it's just taking up a bunch of screen real estate. It looks ugly. I think they'd look a lot better if they, um, you know, if they didn't have these, uh, these, these pop filters. I left a message on there. On this video, I'm sure, of course, it'll ignore it. <laughs> but anyway, so anyway, just a little bit more detail on the uh, on uh, the types of mics you use, the pop filters. You know, uh, many of these videos out there that you'll see. Um, thanks for watching.